Welcome back, multifamily investors. It is Monday and we are checking the latest listings that hit in the last, uh, I wouldn't say 24 hours because I, I only do this Monday through Friday and it's Monday and so stuff could have hit over the weekend. But this is interesting, my market watch, I have rarely seen 000s um, and only new listings and pending, nothing sold, closed or anything since Friday. Um, but we had three new listings and four go pending, so a negative one loss there. But uh, we have one duplex and king, two and Two duplexes in Pierce, uh, one in Sohomish, and a fourplex in King. Then two five plus units. We do have a seller finance opportunity, it looks like here. It could be one of these up here. Nothing in Thurston, so let's dive in and see what we've got. Seattle, uh, 10 days on the market, so it's coming back on or had a price reduction. Fully permitted studs out remodel. Ooh, Finney Ridge, nice. Uh, Ballard area, 1912. Let's see, it's a huge four bed, one bath, and then a three bed, two bath. Not my ideal mix, uh, but an incredible house hack probably property. Yeah, it's probably gorgeous. Well, I'm not gonna flip through all of them because <clears throat> it's gonna take a unique buyer. I mean, it's never, it's not gonna pencil by any means um, as a non-owner occupied investor like us, most of us, but a perfect, like it says, house hack here, travel nurses, short-term rentals and more. Um, anyway, nice looking property. Let's see what's in Duke. Uh, Pierce, we have actually three. One that just came on the market. This is a popular area, Sunset of uh, UP, University Place. One that came in over the weekend on Lakewood and a uh, big one in Puyallup. Let's see, a big price for a duplex. I thought it's got to be that same one. I bet it's a luxury duplex custom built. So this is a uh, welcome to your two story dream home completely with attached ADU. So it's not really a duplex. That's why this one's a lot. 1.1. 1. 1. 2017, four bed, three bath home with a one one and a quarter edu and kind of like the ballard property nice looking um good location looks like great condition um but this really only works for someone who needs mom and dad to move back in or adult kid or something like that or does want to rent maybe uh the edu out on a short-term rental or something like that Lake Louise duplex uh, down Lakewood. This is the turnkey. Two bed, one bath, really small two beds. 528, wow. Uh, 1959, let's see if there's any pictures. Looks like there's one probably across the street, it's like a clone of it. It's usually better if you own both of those in those kind of situations when they're laid out like that. So it looks like only this one is for sale. Pretty, pretty straightforward rental, pretty dark pictures, terrible. That's what you get sometimes with some of these listings. Not very good pictures, not very good descriptions. Um, that seems about right for two bed units, but man, that size, I would expect that to be like 475 or so on um, this is that same uh, eight unit so they've got under duplexes because it's a couple it's four duplexes um, for 2.4 million this thing's been sitting for a couple months sure wish they would divvy it up um, 5.91 cap is what they're advertising what's the year on this 67 so uh, I think I reviewed this earlier I don't think there's a lot of value add opportunity it's more of a turnkey deal which is why it's 2.4 very straightforward side-by-side -side duplexes and they i mean on septic no they're on sewer which is like that's nice that size property <clears throat> good location for y'all for sure too partner up with somebody raise the money let's do it uh snohomish Everett came out on over the weekend. Good size townhouse style duplex, three beds, two and a half bath. Pretty much a million bucks. 1995. Four, I don't know why these are different square footage though, that's odd. 
like that. I don't know why they ever built them like that, designed them that way. Uh, plenty of parking, all kinds of stuff. A million bucks though. Unless you're gonna house hack in that area, that just doesn't make sense. Quad. Here's one in Kent. Same one that came back on again. Uh, it must have a new price on it. Same offer review date. I know this one has come on and off. I think they must have came, come back on with another, another price uh, to have an offer review date. But this is about what we'd like to see. Two bed, one baths, 800 or so square feet, 900 square feet. It says it's a six cap. This street has a lot of fourplexes on it in Kent. Um, so, and this is about to go in price for pretty much your average fourplex in South King County. And then let's see, we've got two big daddies, one in Tacoma, one in Woodenville. It's been on for two months. This one in Tacoma looks new on 9th. Oh, I think it's not totally new. I recall seeing this. It must have come back on as a, maybe with a new broker. And if you look, um, it says it's 13 units. It has this odd big three bed, one half bath. And then most of them are one, one bed, one baths. That's a good size for one bed, though, 750 square feet. 1960. Looks like it's been kind of, when you see the new like name and branding of a property, it could have been a small syndicated deal or kind of a flip. Looks like it to me, this new trendy font for, and it looks like new windows and the, site, the bricks been painted. So there probably isn't a lot of value on this either. That's kind of different. Radiant heat. Radiator heat. Radiator heat, I mean. New flooring. It's an interesting step up to the shower tub situation. I'm not sure what's going on with the wall there. It always, it, this all looks nicely updated, but then you got that wall. Drain lines. Rings a bell. Uh, oh, let's see what they say in the cap. Oh, no, we have no financials on this one. South South Ninth and Tacoma for that. I mean, if you'd like it to be close to six, six cap for sure. Uh, Oh, this is that fantastic A-class nine-unit windmill. Yeah, I've seen this. 6.8 million. Some office. It's mixed use, so I'm not going to spend time on that. I don't really have clients. And I don't think most people watch my channel are interested in that type of property. Let's see which what is going on. Which seller finance one? Oh, the Lake Louise duplex is offering seller financing. Interesting. So owner finance available with large down payments. So that's the problem. Everybody and their brother wants a seller finance deal because they think they're fantastic terms. But I got to tell you the truth. It's pretty still a rare thing to find a good seller finance, owner finance term opportunity. You know, with large down payment, that is that means probably 100000 or more, 20% or more. And who knows you know, what they want for a balloon, three, five, seven, ten, 10 or longer. And what the rate is it's fascinating that a lot of these seller finance deals that their rates are not even competitive with bank financing right now still six seven it's not like you find a seller that's willing to do three or four percent not it's not impossible i'm just putting the expectation out there that just because it's a seller financing deal doesn't mean it's a good deal okay and nothing down thurston that is it for today monday the 8th thank you for watching